Yo, this is not a game. They are coming for your kids. Listen to this. In January of uh, 2022, I went to um, my daughter's elementary school to deal with a very sensitive incident. My daughter attempted suicide by hanging in one of the school bathrooms. My wife and I were told that, uh, by the school counselor that it happened because of an ongoing issue with her gender identity. We were in shock because our daughter never showed any signs of questioning her biological sex. Um, we were told that they knew about the gender issue due to meetings they were having with our daughter behind our backs. We learned that during these meetings, our, daughter, uh, our daughter's confusion was affirmed and validated through the use of fictitious male names and male pronouns. Our daughter uh, was living the double life without our consent or knowledge. She was affirmed and socially transitioned in school. Due to the nature of the incident, uh, our daughter was very corrected and taken away from us um, with minimal contact for over a week until she was released uh, under our care. As a family, we had to pick up the pieces, uh, clean up the mess, and start a period of painful healing. However, we decided as parents from the beginning that we were not going to affirm the, the, the dysphoria. Uh, we were not uh, going to validate the, a delusion contrary to uh, the recommendation from some professionals in the field. We provided, um, actually we did provide it, uh, unconditional support uh, with proper mental health care and non-affirming therapy to our daughter. Underlying disorders like depression and anxiety were properly treated. We removed her from the school environment and placed her in homebound. We broke her back from her confusion. She is steadfast and sure of her gender and the suicidal ideation is gone. Th this semester, actually, she is ready to go back to the brick and mortar school setting. In summary, our daughter was suicidal when she was being affirmed. However, when she was brought back from that state of confusion, the suicidal ideation disappeared completely. Therefore, my daughter's case disproves the current narrative that the lives of children with gender dysphoria are in jeopardy if they do not get affirmed. If you validate one delusion, then what is next? God bless this father, his daughter, and his whole family. Yo, this is not the first video I posted regarding this type of topic. Okay, I posted a video of a mother in Texas, another video of a father in California. It's not a game, they are coming for your kids, man. Parents, make sure for the love of God, make sure you are close enough with your kid so they can talk to you and you can avoid this type of evil situation and the evil people responsible for what's happening to the younger generation. I mean, there's more and more videos of parents coming out testifying how somehow their daughters and son believe that they are the opposite gender. This is not okay. Yo, God protect you. God protect your family. God protect your kid, your nephew, your nieces. It's crazy out there, man. There is more and more parents coming out testifying, talking about this type of situation. God bless you. God protect you and your family. In the name of Jesus, amen. This is crazy, man.